So we're going to be talking about the ProSport and the timers and taking readings in biofeedback mode and then the initial mode. We power on the ProSport device and it powers up in the default settings. We can increase the power by pressing the plus key and you can decrease the power by pressing the minus key. Now you'll notice that the timer is indicating the amount of time in the treatment mode and when we place the device on the body tissue that timer starts over again to indicate the amount of time in that treatment mode while it's in treatment on the tissue. When we remove the tissue you'll notice that the timer reverts back to the total amount of time in that mode. Again we can put it on the tissue and we see that the timer goes to the treatment time and when we remove it it reverts back to the time in that mode. Now in biofeedback you'll notice that the timers work a little bit differently. When you first go to biofeedback mode the display freezes to um, the initial settings so the information that's shown is left over from the previous mode. Now when I put the tissue on the treatment plates you'll see that the timer starts to indicate the amount of treatment time and the current readings. Now when I remove the tissue you'll notice that the display freezes to give you the chance to write down the information the power setting, the IR, the time of treatment mode, the OR, the coefficients, the speed of reaction, etc. Again, when I put the tissue back onto the treatment plates, you'll see that the timer starts over again with the new treatment time and the display freezes when the, when the tissue is removed. Now, sometimes you'll want to use an accessory such as um, this Y bar. Now when we plug in the accessory, you'll notice that so far nothing happens because the device is not on the tissue. But sometimes you'll note that the timer will resume and it will be as if the device is taking a reading even though it's not on the tissue. That's because the environmental is such that it crosses the body threshold. So inherent to your device at default settings, the body threshold constant is set to indicate so that when it takes a reading it'll know when it's on the body and when it's off the body tissue. And so when you see that this timer is running and it's all plugged in and yet it's not touching the body tissue, what you'll want to do is recalibrate that setting to your environmental conditions such as a cold air conditioning room or a warm humid room. To recalibrate what you do is press the plus and minus key together for one second. Now you can tell you're successful when you don't hear them going up and down. There you go. For one second. When you let go, then it's been recalibrated and now it's been recalibrated to indicate that with the accessory plucked in, it is not on the body. So now when you take the body readings, you'll be successful and you'll see that the timer will start over to indicate that it's on the body. You see what happens is that the lead wire and the accessory act as a small load onto the electric circuit that's inside this device. And the device doesn't know that it's the environmental conditions plus the load of the accessories and it sometimes thinks that it's on the body and so you'll see it indicating with the timer moving even though it's not touching. Now, um, after you've recalibrated, every time you turn off your device, the, de the device will reset itself to the initial conditions. So when I power the device back on, if you're going to use accessories, you may need to recalibrate it every time you power it on. If you have any other questions, um, please feel free to visit our website at www.avazia.com or call our customer service and um, take training classes if you're interested. Thank you.